Candice Rodardi, GratitudeGeek.info, and welcome to installment nine of Battling Bertha. This is my post-surgery wrap-up, and I'm just going to share with you three things I learned about surgery that I didn't know before I went into this. If you'd like to follow along with my story, uh, Battling Breast Cancer, it's GratitudeGeek.info, and there's a link to Battling Bertha, and I go through basically the whole journey of finding out that I had this horrible thing that I call Bertha to uh, my surgery last Friday, February, uh, August 22nd, 2014, I had my surgery. I had a partial mastectomy. 25% of my right breast was removed, and I had didn't really know what to expect going into surgery. I didn't ask a lot of questions. I just sort of um, was taking it one step at a time because that's the only way I could handle it. So. Let's just talk about things that I didn't know going into surgery that if you are about to face surgery, and it doesn't have to be a breast surgery, it can be any kind of surgery, things that you might need to know post-surgery. And the first one is when you have surgery, you're intubated, which means there's a tube that they put down your chest so that you can breathe during the surgery without, again, I guess it helps the surgeons more than it helps you. But after surgery, you're going to have to play with this little toy, it looks like this, to get your lungs back. And it takes a few days. I'm still not at full capacity. Uh, but basically, you stick it in your mouth and you suck. And you try to get as much volume as you can into your lungs. And I can tell you that post-surgery, I could barely get 500 I guess they're milliliters into the tube, and now I'm back up to 1,500 milliliters. But it does make you a little dizzy, so don't do it all at once. Just take it. Take it the little. second thing I didn't know, he, the surgeon actually had to remove three lymph nodes from my under armpit to make sure that the cancer hadn't metastasized into the lymph nodes. And we knew this going into it already, but you know, it's just a double check thing. I wasn't. I had an isolated lump. There was no, nothing in my lymph nodes, but three of them had, were removed. And something that happens to you when you have lymph nodes removed is that you could possibly get lymphedema in the arm where the lymph nodes are removed. So for the next six weeks, I have to wear an ACE bandage on my arm. And I actually wear two of them. Right now, I only have one because I wrapped it myself and I can't go all the way up. I'm not that coordinated with my left hand. But I have an ACE bandage on my right arm. And I usually have it up to here or so. It prevents swelling in my arm. I have to do it for about six weeks. And that will prevent lymphedema. So, and lymphedema is when you get real swollen, um, and this is just a way to prevent it. And the third thing that I personally didn't know, and it's worth you looking into, is that I, I knew that I had an allergy to adhesive tape, and I thought it was just latex tape. However, any tape gives me a rash, and so now anywhere on my body where I had tape, I have a rash now, and that included the tape that they taped down to my um, face with the, the intubator. So I even have uh, little itchies on my face. So you should really look into whether or not you are allergic to adhesive and latex adhesive before you have surgery, because the rash is kind of worse than the actual pain from the scar, <laughs> the itch from the rash. So those are three things about surgery that I didn't really know going into it, and I hope that that by sharing my story with you, that you get a little knowledge and you can face your surgery a little better. And that's, I mean, that's my wrap up. It's, um, today is Thursday, August 28th. It's been seven days since the surgery. I feel great. I did have an overnight stay because I had nausea and the allergic reaction. Uh, so they kept me in overnight and I came home Saturday. Surgery was Friday. Uh, everybody at St. Luke's downtown, um, the St. Luke's Medical Center Houston was fabulous. The nursing staff was great. My, my surgeon was fabulous. Um, my recovery is great. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to reconstruction. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having my eyebrows and my hair back, which is all going to come. I'm looking at uh, four to six weeks of radiation is the next part of my treatment plan. I've got Herceptin treatments, which is Herceptin is a, a biologic that um, it, it, I, the particular type of cancer I have is HER2 positive, 70%, which means it's very aggressive. And so for the next year, every three weeks, I will be doing uh, Herceptin intravenously to prevent that HER2 positive cancer from coming back. And then after that, I'll do five years of tamoxifen pills. 
So I have a long journey ahead of me, another six years at least of, of this battling Bertha. So installment nine is not going to be the last installment, but I hope that by sharing my journey that I have given you a little power and knowledge so that if you are going through this journey yourself, you have um, a little hope and inspiration. So again, Candace Rodardi, gratitudegeek.info. I know.